Hi guys, I'm Benicio Ferreira, and in today's video, I'm going to give you a complete step-by-step -step on the Nabox wallet, the most used wallet within the Nulls ecosystem. Basically this wallet allows you to hold the Nulls cryptocurrency, and participate in the DEFI and decentralized dApps of this entire ecosystem, to stake the Nulls cryptocurrency, in addition to participating in the POCM system. That is a slightly different, but very interesting system. But if you who are watching me now already have prior knowledge of any of the steps that I will bring here in this video, I have set up a timeline, that way you can go directly to the topic you want to know. In this video, I'm going to talk about the web wallet for you to use on your computer, in your browser, and also the mobile application. I will even show you how you synchronize the two modes using the same wallet on two different devices. And remembering, you can use the comments tool below to leave your doubts and procedures, or perhaps your opinion about the Nulls ecosystem. And take advantage of the fact that you're already going to take a look down here to also leave a like on this video. Because this like greatly strengthens my work here on YouTube, and of course, it encourages me to bring you content more and more. But now come on from just talking and let's go to the computer screen. Well guys, the first step is to access the Nabox.io website, that is the wallet that we are going to use to use the Nulls ecosystem. I'll leave the link correctly here in the description to make it easier for you. And here I'm going to leave you a tip. Use the Nabox wallet in a different browser than the one you use the MetaMask, precisely to avoid some conflicts between these two applications. Here in my case I use Nabox in Google Chrome, and I use my MetaMask there in Brave. Having said that, let's get our hands dirty now. The first step is to access the site and then click here, available for Chrome, or in this case the browser you are using. Then you will add the extension to your browser here and then confirm. And that's it, the installation will start in your browser. After the installation is finished, just click on this puzzle piece and attach the Nabox wallet to make it easier to use, and then just click on the Nabox wallet icon. And here you must create a security password for your wallet. Avoid using unusual passwords with other platforms, but use a password that you will not forget. I put a password here for myself, and I'm going to click on insert password. And that's it, the app has already created the wallet. The wallet has already been created, but now we have the most important point in this video, that is precisely the backup of your wallet, that is, it is what will allow you to recover this wallet in the future. And here, unlike other wallets, you have access to the backup through the 12 or 24 words, here you will collect your backup through your private key. For this you will click on the name of your account that is next to the Nabox logo, go to the last option called, manage the current account, and here you have the private key backup option, that is, the backup of your secret key. I'm going to put the password here that I had put before when I created the wallet, I'm going to confirm, and OK. This right here is my secret key, who has access to your secret key that will appear there for you, will have access to all your cryptocurrencies and your wallet. So keep this secret key in the safest possible place away from other people's reach, but also that you don't lose it. An observation, this style of backup is the backup of a specific address. That is, the address that you created at the beginning. If you create other addresses like, account 1, account 2, account 3, you will need to save the backup of each one ok? This wallet is a tutorial wallet, I'm not going to use it, that's why I'm showing it to you during this video. But you at home should save your code in a safe place, mark it on paper or wherever you prefer, but always check the codes more than once to make sure you wrote it down correctly, because you will need it in the future. After making the backup, now let's understand some settings. Clicking on account 1 again, you have the option to create an account. That is, create new addresses. Each address you create, for example I'm going to create account 2 here, you will have to back up each one's private key. So account 1 has one private key, account 2 has another private key. Don't forget those backup ok? Another important piece of information is that this is a wallet with multiple blockchain networks. So you have to change it, for example remove the Ethereum that comes by default, and scroll down and select nulls. And that's it, now I have the wallet set up. Quick note, Nabox is a multi-chain wallet, and Nulls already launched the Anulls network not long ago. That is a new blockchain network compatible with EVM, which will even bring new functions. I'll leave an explanatory video for you up here on the card. And you will be able to use the same application, that is, the same Nabox wallet, just by changing the blockchain network. You can even use the Nerve network in that same wallet. So here you can go to settings, and click on network, where all blockchain networks will be displayed, and if you don't want to see them all, you can leave them hidden if you wish, and leave only the blockchain networks you are going to use. In this case I'll leave the nulls and the nerve too, and I'll remove all the others. Ready, I already removed all the networks I wanted. 
Now coming back here we can see that I just made nulls available, the nerve that is a subnet of nulls and which is part of the same ecosystem, and the annuls test network, that in the future I will leave the annuls main net, because this one is just the test network, and it will only serve as an example in this video for you. So later I will be able to switch between blockchain networks, according to the application that I am going to use. And just to remind you, the balance of a blockchain network is not the same as the other. Then you will need to use the bridges that are tools to move the balance from one to the other according to the tool you will use. Other than that, we still have the option of adding new tokens from the blockchain network that you want. In this case, NullSwap and the Nabox token are already recognized here. If you don't find your token here, you will put its contract and search, and then it will appear here in this list as you are seeing. And it also has the send button for you to send your balance to your friends, or at exchange, or any platform. You will click on send, fill in the address, select the token or currency, and enter the amount. You can even put an observation here, or a note of some transfer, because it is much easier for you to monitor later. Coming back here, you can still copy your address by clicking on this QR code drawing, where your receiving address will appear for you. So, if you want to withdraw to any exchange, just copy that address, and fill out the withdrawal form there on the exchange to receive your cryptocurrencies, directly in your wallet. That's it for now, it's possible for you to start using your wallet, but soon I will show you how you restore, in case you lose your computer or it is formatted, or even broken or anything like that. But first, let's take a look at the Nabox Wallet mobile application. So let's go. As you can see, I accessed the Nabox.io website, that even has a link in the description. And here Google Play already appeared for me to download the application. If you are using the iPhone, the Apple Store will appear. Just for you to download from your cell phone's app store. I'm going to click here on Google Play and I'm going to click install. The installation is finished here, so I'm going to open the application and I'm going to make the first settings. I'll wait for the screen to load with some presentation messages. I'm going to put it in English and I'm going to put it in dollars and click on allow the use while using the application. Here I have two options, create an account or import an account. Importing an account allows us to recover a lost wallet or perhaps a wallet that is on your computer. I already talk about it. But let's go to the option, create account, here you will give a name for this account. I will put noob then, and the password I will put something very simple, just so that we can follow this step by step. Remembering that the password needs to have at least one letter. So I'm putting it from 1 to 8 and the end with the letter A. Now I will accept the terms and I will create this account. Here I have two backup options, backup by private key, that is the same as the one I showed in the computer version, where the private key will be displayed, and then I will have to save this code, or else I do the backup via my Monica phrase. That are those 12 words. So I'm going to click here for you to see. Next, and now 12 words will be displayed. These 12 words will also give me access to this wallet that I'm creating now, so it's also a form of backup, but on the computer we don't have that option. Now you need to mark these 12 words in exactly the right order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all of them written correctly on paper and left in a safe place, following exactly the same rules as the private key. And those who have access to this also have access to this portfolio. Well, I'm going to mark it here very quickly just to continue with the demo for you. I noticed that the cell phone screen even stopped recording the moment the words were displayed for security reasons, but will normally serve for explanation, because you will see your words normally. I marked mine here on paper, and now I need to repeat them correctly in the correct order. So I'll put mine here. Ready? I put them all in the correct order, and I will click on confirm. Now the backup is complete. So the wallet kind of forces you to make that backup. Looking here we have the wallet again. Now you will need to configure the nulls network again, to show the assets of that network, and everything will be set up correctly for you to use the apps. So here's already a lot of stuff if you want to use it. As you saw, in this procedure I showed how you create a new wallet using your cell phone. That is, the balance you have on your computer will be different from the balance you have on your cell phone. But now I'm going to show you how to synchronize, how you create a wallet synchronized with the one on the computer, so that both are the same wallet and have the same balance. So basically I uninstalled the app and installed it again as if I was going to create a new wallet. And now instead of using the create account option, I'm going to use the import account option. Here we have the option to import via my Monica phrase. I'll talk about that in a moment, and import via private key. But the easiest way to synchronize with the computer is precisely this last option. Scan to import. Then you will click here, where your cell phone camera will open. And now you will need to go to your wallet there on your computer. Come with me and I'll show you. Here on the computer you will click on wallet Nabox in your browser, click on the name of your wallet, 
in my case account 1, and go to manage the current account. And here we have the account synchronization option, and a QR code will appear. You will take your cell phone and point to this QR code. Now going back to the cell phone again, I'm going to put the screen for you to see, it will basically ask for the same password that I had put there on the computer. So I'm going to put the same password I put it here. I put the password and now I'm going to click confirm, then it will start loading. Now you see, if the password is different from the one you put on the computer, the app simply won't sync, because it needs to be exactly the same password. Ready, now the same address I have here I will also have it on the computer. Now let me switch to the nulls network so you can see, that's it, I switched to the nulls network. The end of my wallet is 73 AU, now let's go to the computer screen for you to see. Here on the computer we can see that it has the same ending 73 AU, that is, the same balance you have in your computer wallet will now also be in your cell phone wallet. Precisely because I used the option to synchronize the wallets. Well, the part of synchronizing with the computer, with the wallet on the PC is very simple, just go to some settings, scan and that's it. And you can use the same wallet on both devices. But now we are going to get to a part of the video that is one of the most important parts, but that most people only care about when they need to learn about it. That is exactly how to recover your wallet, in case you need to format your computer, in case you turn it off, in case you lose your browser plugin, in case your cell phone breaks, among others. And we are going to learn the ways that you can recover your wallet, both through the private key, that is that secret key that we talked about when you created your wallet on the computer, and through your mnemonic phrase. On mobile, the procedure is very simple. You will install the application again, you will make the settings, and here you will use the import account option. Precisely if you have a wallet that you have backed up through mnemonic phrases, you choose the option to import via mnemonic phrases. Then you will put your phrase, you will put a password, a new password in this case, repeat the new password, and you will name the wallet and click on next. And it's done, you'll be able to recover your old wallet through that mnemonic phrase. Denisius, I created the phrase through the computer and I don't have a mnemonic phrase to retrieve it on my cell phone, how do I do it? Well, just go to import account, and click on import private key. Now just take that code you made when you created the wallet there on the computer, and put it here and fill in a password, repeat the password, and put the name of that account to make it easier for you. And remembering that in this case here, when you are restoring a wallet, it is a new password. When you are synchronizing with the computer via QR code, it is the same password that is on the computer. If in doubt, use the comments. By cell phone it is very simple as you have seen. You will import your mnemonic phrase or your private key. Mnemonic phrase is those 12 words that you must write them correctly and with one space between them and with all lowercase letters. And you have the option of importing via private key which is that code. That is basically the backup we made when creating the wallet on the computer. But when you want to restore your wallet on a new computer, the procedure is a little bit different, but the idea is the same. But come with me and I'll show you. You'll need to reinstall Nabox there in your browser, I even uninstalled it here to make it easier. Just add to Google Chrome, add extension, and install normally. After the installation is finished, the extension itself will sort of automatically create a new wallet. Let me pin it up here to make it easier. And here it is asking for a password. Here as we can see, we already have the first option to recover the wallet. That is to use this option below, import existing account. And here it will ask for your code, that is, your private key, the one that gives access to your wallet. You will fill it in here, you will put a new password, and you will confirm this new password, and you will click on import, and your wallet will already be retrieved and displayed to you, and you may need to add the tokens you had previously added again. But the wallet will be the same and the balance will be the same too. But I will show you another way. I'm going to click here as if I had created a new wallet, put any password just to show you, and here he created a new wallet. Now let me put nulls here on the network so as not to confuse the addresses. So as we can see the current address is this one, YZQU, which is the current address, different from the address I had created the first time. And how do I recover? Well, I'm going to click here on account, and here we have the import account option. Just for you to import an account. And now it's asking me to put my private key. I saved mine here, precisely to bring this content to you. And now I'm going to paste it here. This is the private key I created at the beginning of this video. I'm now going to put any name, like noob1, just for example, and I'm going to click on import, where again my wallet will be displayed. So by clicking here I now have account1, that was the wallet I created just to finish installing this browser extension, and I have noob1 that was the wallet I created at the beginning of this video. If you look at the address it's the same. I even took a print screen, and I'll show it on the screen for you to compare. So this is how you recover your wallet from your private key here in your browser.
So if you want to recover or restore a wallet that you had created on your cell phone, using the Mnemonic Phrases backup system, you will need to recover it on your cell phone, that is, through the Nabox application on your cell phone. Now if you created a wallet on your computer or on your cell phone, and used the private key system as a backup, you can restore the wallet both on your computer and on a new cell phone using the wallet import system. Well, I hope this video has given you a basis for you to start using your wallet safely, mainly in the creation and backup part. And I know that some doubts may arise, so you have access to the comments below to leave your doubt, and I will answer as soon as I can. In addition, I will leave the link to the Nulls communities in Portuguese for you to participate and interact with other investors. And if I helped you and you believe that this content is important to someone, leave a like on this video because this like helps a lot, and take this video, this content to more people. And if you are new here, welcome to this channel. We teach about cryptocurrencies, Web3, NFT, NFT games, that is, everything that encompasses this market. So take the opportunity to sign up below. And it's important that you activate the notification bell if you haven't activated it yet. Precisely because as soon as I release a new video, you receive a notification and you decide whether to watch it or not. That's all for today, I'll stop here. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you in the next video. See you later, bye bye.